Fancy. <laughs> Come stick in. <laughs> Bitte schön. <laughs> My biography. It would be nice. Yeah, I was born as Michelle Chan. I, I was adopted by my third father and I took his name and he was a wonderful man and his name was Bird and that's how I become Michelle Bird. <laughs> but I'm Chinese Mongolian and from my father's side and from my mother, Scotch, English, Irish and Norwegian. And uh, I grew up in San Francisco and lived a short time in Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> my hobbies are. <laughs> and I, I stayed in San Francisco until I was about 25. And uh, I bought a one-way ticket and packed my bags and took everything and left for a holiday with no destination. And I lived in Amsterdam for 15 years. I think in Amsterdam, I really enjoyed it. It was fun, it was thrilling, dynamic. Things were happening all the time. And um, now it's, I'm grounded. I, I feel at home. Strangely enough, when I first came here, I had tears in my eyes. And I, just, I thought, I'm at home. I'm home again. And that was a strange and beautiful moment, but uh, I am wondering how, how will that affect my art? And that, uh, yeah, that's for the future to see. It's a good place to come to yourself and really be quiet, and that's nice. Amsterdam was very busy, a lot of dynamic, which is also great for moments in your life, but uh, at this point it's really nice to know, okay, I can stay in my atelier, and work with peace. And that's a uh, here like a <laughs> Oil is wonderful. It's really a, a fantastic uh, goopy. It's like um, this texture, this texture is so, so yummy. <laughs> because I love the way it feels, I love the way it smells, um, I love mixing paints, when you, when you mix the paints it's, it's, like, it's like food, it's something you need and you feel it and when I paint, I paint, I paint with my hands and I, I paint with different brushes and I paint with palette knives and, and it's always this, there's this, this wonderful texture you end up putting, or I end up putting myself in most paintings because I'm my largest frame of reference. If I'm, if I'm drawing a form, I always can reflect on myself. I'm there. I'm always my own, I'm, I'm always there to model for me. <laughs> and that's, uh, when, when you're inspired to to find somebody to come for you at that moment is always hard. I'm inspired now. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> well, I'm here. <laughs> and it's also because it's a, it is a self-reflection in a lot of ways. It's, um, um, when I work, I never work with music. Um, I'm trying to go deeper in myself. And I, I really want to... Um, find that space in myself. Art should be enjoyed by everyone. That it shouldn't be something only for the privileged. I would like my art to be enjoyed by people who truly love my art. As you're painting, uh, you're constantly confronted with why do you do what you do? Why am I doing what I'm doing? What, what moves me in my painting? It's never a clear answer. You're never, you're, you ask the questions, but you never, you know, it, it, it's more about asking the question. It's not so much about finding the answers. Once you start to have concrete answers, I think it limits your world. I think if you can say, my world is like this, well then you've created a frame around it which you can't exit and you close doors. Moving, feeling, seeing what it needs, and going. And that's it, and you go with the brush. Feeling, what's the next scene? Forms, you see forms, 
and you think, well, it's not thinking, it's feeling. It's, you're trying, I'm trying not to think. That's the whole idea. In all painting, it's the most difficult point to say, stop. And I really have to sometimes say, stop. Yeah, Switzerland is ganz lässig. <laughs> Danke vielmal. Ich bin ganz glücklich hier. <laughs>